there's great excitement uh, in terms of uh, investment groups all over the, the, the world about uh, the Saudi announcement that they're going to open their their market, their their stock market uh, beyond um, exchange traded funds or, or swap agreements to qualified foreign investors and, and, and uh, the, the drop date is uh, sensibly somewhere around April 2015 and, and these things can can move uh, but it certainly looks like it's going to happen. Uh, there's some some uh, close parameters on what a qualified foreign investor is and right now they're talking about foreign uh, five billion dollars under in, uh, under management and maybe that'll recruit, be reduced. Uh, there's a discussion of how what, what percentage of any one stock or, uh, or the total market can be held. Can you uh, from your perspective as, as, as uh, you know, regional GCC director for Ashmore, can you talk a little bit about this opening uh, what it what it means to Saudi Arabia, what potential investors should be looking for, um, and what they might anticipate in the run up to this. I know uh, as the, the UAE and Qatar uh, were approaching their designation by uh, ASCI as an emerging market, the the market ran up considerably, and then once it happened, it dropped. I'm sure there's all sorts of dynamics that are going on that you look at, and I'm sure you're you're uh, terrified of the crowd mentality <laughs> and what, what it might do to uh, experience and in, in, informed investors. But it would be interesting to get your insights as we approach this. This is going to happen, it looks like, and it's a big deal for Saudi Arabia. And it's a big deal for a lot of people who have been trying to get into Saudi Arabia for a long time. I think it's very important. It's, it's the part that was missing uh, when everybody was talking about the financial sector in Saudi Arabia the opening up of the market to foreigners was uh, very important. It, it was the bit missing from all those who were saying that um, uh, within the G20, everybody can invest directly in everybody else except Saudi Arabia. So I think it was a, it's a monumental decision and uh, they took it. The issue is one exactly. And I think um, the date will be as we hear and read sometime in the first half of 2015. And why is it important? It's important because Saudi Arabia's size, the stock market is is very, uh, very important. Um, and it, it's important to be open to foreign investors, given that it's bigger than South Africa, uh, bigger than Turkey, uh, bigger than, than Indonesia. And if you account for the recent correction we've seen, uh, then you would see that the market has uh, potential growth once we get over this um, uh, correction mode that we have been going through over the last several weeks. And that's more of an effect, a temporary effect uh, due to oil prices. Um, but I think it's very important because eventually that will open the market uh, for Saudi Arabia to be included in the MSCI index, which I don't expect it will take a very long time for that to happen. Just as you said, Qatar and the UAE uh, back in the spring of 2014 joined the MSCI index. And given its importance, uh, they will have to do it once they open up to direct foreign investment. Um, so it's very important because uh, it brings depth, uh, it, it brings stability, uh, it adds to transparency. In fact, the market is extremely transparent. Uh, corporate governance is probably the highest uh, in Saudi Arabia than, than the rest of the GCC. Uh, of course, it has faults like all markets and nothing is perfect. But um, I think that uh, in terms of uh, the regulatory aspect, it, it has done superbly well and it's, it's one of the best regulated um, stock markets in the emerging markets. So it makes no sense, given it, the size of the stock market, which is more than $500 billion, and given the size of the economy, which is more than $750 billion, for them not to have access to direct investors. Also, you know, one of the benefits will be to lower transaction costs, um, and that's good for the retail investor, as well as the institutional investor. Uh, when foreigners come in, they will bring uh, a lot of institutional money with them. 
uh, concern has always been, will they bring hot money? Uh, will that be in and out kind of transactions? And uh, we believe that this is not the case. There is a level of maturity that takes place. And as we have seen in China, uh, the market there was very much retail dominated. And over time, it has phased out its retail uh, side and more institutional players are involved now. And, and it's good for corporates as well when you have direct access. Uh, it helps increase uh, governance and that's always an added bonus. So it, 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 it's very important for Saudi Arabia to be opening its market. Uh, it, it's going to, to add to, to the, the positiveness in the financial sector. And it will continue to put Saudi Arabia on the map of the global financial uh, players.